From sci-fi fantasy to hunting giant creatures, here's five brand new open world games you've most likely never heard of. Be sure to check out the video guide in the description below. And remember to subscribe, turn on those notifications to receive videos like this one in your email. But guys, let's dive into those games. So Freeman Star Edge is our first open world game we are looking at and has recently been greenlit on Steam and will feature several different planets that are open world in futuristic environments. These will include a wide variety of locations including caves, sprawling fields, and even space stations. This is primarily a single player game though which also allows players to get cozy in their own homes where they can heal up and take it easy. There will be squad-based combat with third-person shooter mechanics, and you'll tackle settlements, loot them, and work with your squad to conquer the galaxy. And customization is also crucial to the experience, as you can equip both yourself and your squad with new weapons and gear plus scavenge resources. Now, a demo is planned for around February, March of 2017, and September through October, we'll see the full release of the game to PC. And next up, we have Dauntless, which looks absolutely gorgeous and will be free to play on PC. If you like Monster Hunter, then you may want to pay attention. Players will be roaming a majestic open world with their friends or random players. Yes, this is a proper MMO. You'll also be taking on huge creatures to reclaim your land while gaining new weapons and gear along the way. There is a beta planned for the future, so go ahead and sign up by following the link down in the description below. But this one looks very promising. Guys, check it out. Stay tuned for updates. It plans to release sometime in 2017. <laughs> And here we have Die Young, which is a different take on the open world survival genre. In this game, you are kidnapped but don't know why. In fact, you awaken buried alive and must struggle to survive your ordeal by staying hydrated, finding food, scavenging for weapons and items and more. You'll be exploring an island full of ancient ruins, creepy mines and caves. This game is about escaping and surviving, which is the ultimate end goal of the game. Dai Young will be out sometime in 2017 on PC. But what is Dark and Light? Well, it is described as a fantasy survival sandbox RPG. Players will be facing off against dragons and other large creatures in a huge open world featuring castles, settlements, and more. And boy, does it look quite impressive. You could trade with other players and NPCs and explore this beautiful open world with other players to seek out better crafting materials to create better equipment and other items. Dark and Light will be available on PC sometime in 2017. Now, Holdfast isn't exactly being described as an open world game, but it takes place on huge battlefields which span both sea and land so I definitely thought it was worth mentioning here. It is going to be a multiplayer competitive game, but players will join one of several powerful nations during the Napoleonic era in a class-based game. Choose your role between an officer, sailor, surgeon, line infantryman, or captain. I've always wanted a game set in this era, by the way, and I'm curious to see how it will pan out. In fact, I would love to see a TV series set in this era, but guys, stay tuned for updates and check out their website for more details it will be releasing on PC sometime in 2017. Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you are new to open world games, go ahead and hit subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications to receive videos like this one in your email so you never miss another update about such games like Red Dead Redemption 2, Ghost Recon Wildlands, and so many other awesome upcoming open world games, including any news about GTA 6. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the open world.